What are open textbooks? Open textbooks are textbooks which are available to students free online or for not much more than the cost of printing in the bookstore. Why do they exist? Financial barriers to higher education are real, even at the most affordable option for higher education, the community college. Tuition rises as state funding decreases and colleges become more dependent on tuition. When I was a Virginia Community College student in the 1990s, my summer job paid for my tuition and books with money to spare. For our students today, a full-time summer job will only pay two-thirds of tuition, not including the estimated $1,040 they will need for textbooks annually. How do high textbook costs affect students at Virginia Western? They told us in the textbook and learning materials student survey given in spring 2017 that 57% of students reported not having the required course materials by the first day of class. One student wrote, quote, for financial reasons I felt like I had to wait and see what was absolutely necessary. The survey showed that due to the high cost of textbooks and learning materials, one out of five students reported taking fewer classes. This slows the progress our students make towards completing their degrees and certificates. This issue affects student success as well. One out of four reported not buying the required textbook. One out of five reported dropping a course, failing, or getting a poor grade. One out of 10 reported shopping for lower textbook cost. These students are not taking the classes they want, they are taking the classes that are most affordable. Nearly all students, 93%, reported trying to reduce their textbook costs. 65% reported not using the campus bookstore. 54% read in textbooks to save money. 47% bought used textbooks. 18% shared textbooks with classmates. And 8% used the textbooks on reserve in the library. How are they created? Let's look at the commercial publishing model first. Why are they so expensive? The publisher funds the creation of the textbook and then recoups its investment and makes profits through sales. The author is paid royalties and the publisher and author are protected by copyright. Let's look at the publishing model for open textbooks. How can a textbook be no cost or low cost? In this model, a funder, usually a charitable foundation, university, or government, pays the publisher to create the textbook with the condition that it will be free forever. Often, open textbook publishers are nonprofits affiliated with a university, like Rice University's OpenStax. The author is paid a one-time fee for his or her work, and the work is distributed online or in print versions, sold for not much more than the cost of printing. As a part of the agreement, the author places a Creative Commons license on the work so that it can be shared without copyright restrictions. What about the quality of open textbooks? Just like commercial textbooks, open textbooks go through an extensive peer review process. In 12 peer reviewed studies of 5,021 students and professors, 85% of respondents said open textbooks were either the same or better than commercial textbooks. In 13 peer reviewed studies of efficacy, that studied nearly 120,000 students who use commercial and open textbooks, 95% of students in classes that use open textbooks had the same or better outcomes as those using commercial textbooks. Help break down barriers to higher education. I urge you to support the use and creation of open textbooks at Virginia Western.